Other things we're going to talk about very quickly are the range of activities underneath in our program. And a forthcoming involvement is this ARPA computer network, the experimental network that's going to come into being in its first form in about a year and end up sometime later with some 20 experimental computers in a network. And they hope to be able to transmit across the country with bandwidths of something like 20 kilobits per second, delay times of less than a tenth of a second, which would be enough so that I could be running a system in Cambridge over the network and getting the same kind of response on a CRT. And it may be that people there, yeah, the next time we have a conference in Boston, I'll try this from there. <laughs> the, uh, and in that network, we're going to try to develop a special service to provide network information, relevant network information for people, for the kind of information that it takes to operate such a network. Who's got what services, what protocol do I use to get there, who's up to date, how much, where's the user's guide, where can I find the paper that describes this system uh, that so-and-so offers. Uh, and that's going to be a, a very interesting challenge for us to utilize our, our tools for organizing and retrieving information. And the last thing here is just a little comment about after all of this, what's the product that we're providing in this research? Well, it's a, we're developed providing a sample augmentation system, the one we use. And not only that, it's an augmentation system that's provided to augment computer system development. And beyond that, we also are hoping that we're developing quite a few design principles for developing augmentation systems. and. These, I hope, are transferable things 